Good evening, race fans. This is Trish Shepard, and I'm in the winner's circle with Ron Marsh, who just drove his 3,000th winner. On behalf of Maywood Park and all Chicago Harness fans, we wish to congratulate you on that special victory, Ron. Tell us, were you planning on that back when you started to drive? Oh, well, it was one of the goals that I like, like to put down the road when I first started driving. My dad, you know, he's, he's been through this, and uh, it was just something that you can't really look forward to, but you just know if you do your own job and do the best you can, eventually, hopefully, uh, something like this will come around. Well, I'm not sure that everyone here knows, but Ron's dad is Joe Marsh, Jr., who used to drive in the Chicago circuit before e going east to New York, and he has over 5,000 winners to his career, so he's walking in good steps, I would say, keeping up with his dad. But, Ron, where did you start driving? Uh, Quad City was when I got my P drives. Uh, I started my qualifying drives here in Chicago under, under my dad, and uh, he gave me a few horses to take out to the Quad City, and I started driving out there. In those early days, how was it? Uh, did a lot of drivers give you advice, or were you just tearing them up right from the beginning? No, there was no tearing them up. It was it was a struggle. Uh, I didn't have really good stock, and you know, as, right now, if I, if you don't have the right kind of stock, you just can't go fast enough. But uh, it was experience. It was it was good for me. It was it was something I had to learn how to take the feet in, you know, along with the winds, and uh, and I needed that. So uh, it was good for me. Is there anything you can look back upon as a turning point in your career? Probably the Bob Farrington account. He did as much for me as, uh, as my father did. My father gave me the basic idea of, of what to do and how to do it, and then Bob Farrington gave me the opportunity in 1980 to drive his horses, and, uh, and it's kind of snowballed from then on, and uh, he's probably, probably the main thing that's really been able to get me over the hump. Well, 3,000 wins is an awful lot of wins, but I would imagine that you might have one or two that stick out in your mind. Would you care to share one with the race fans? Well, that, that one night a few years back when I won the orange and blue back-to-back, -back, I won with a, a two-year-old Colt one night and then a two-year-old Philly the, the next night. Those are probably the two big races in the Chicago area, and then, uh, boy, there's been a lot of good times since then. <laughs> well, we're happy to hear that. We know that you have to get busy working on 3001 so you can get to 4000, so we'll get, let you get back to the next race. But we want to congratulate you once again, and thank you for being in the winner's circle. Thank you, Trish.